When using the supply and demand framework to think about how an event will affect the equilibrium price and quantity, proceed through four steps. 1. Sketch a supply and demand diagram to think about what the market looked like before the event. 2. Decide whether the event will affect supply or demand. 3. Decide whether the effect on supply or demand is negative or positive, and draw the appropriate shifted supply or demand curve. 4. Compare the new equilibrium price and quantity to the original ones. Here is an example from the fish market. Step 1. Draw a demand and supply model to illustrate the market for salmon in the year before the good weather conditions began. The demand curve D0 and the supply curve S0 show that the original equilibrium price is $3.25 per pound and the original equilibrium quantity is 250,000 fish. Step 2. Did the economic event affect supply or demand? Good weather is an example of a natural condition that affects supply. Step 3. Was the effect on supply an increase or a decrease? Good weather is a change in natural conditions that increases the quantity supplied at any given price. The supply curve shifts to the right, moving from the original supply curve S0 to the new supply curve S1. Step 4. Compare the new equilibrium price and quantity to the original equilibrium. At the new equilibrium E1, the equilibrium price falls from $3.25 to $2.50, but the equilibrium quantity increases from 250,000 to 550,000 salmon. Notice that the equilibrium quantity demanded increased, even though the demand curve did not move. Higher compensation for postal workers, a four-step analysis. First, Higher labor compensation causes a leftward shift in the supply curve, a decrease in the equilibrium quantity, and an increase in the equilibrium price. Second, a change in tastes away from postal services causes a leftward shift in the demand curve, a decrease in the equilibrium quantity, and a decrease in the equilibrium price. Combined effect of decreased demand and decreased supply, supply and demand shifts cause changes in equilibrium price and quantity. The effect on quantity, the effect of higher labor compensation on postal services, because it raises the cost of production is to decrease the equilibrium quantity. Thus, equilibrium quantity declines. Effect on price, the overall effect on price is more complicated. Since the two effects are in opposite directions, unless we know the magnitudes of the two effects, the overall effect is unclear.